All right, let's go ahead and create a new tool for our tool library. This will be the plate marker. So let's go to machine, tool library. Here's where we're going to input plate marker. As you can see in our tool library, we don't have plate marker. Now let's go to D1, which is our curve. Let's go 0 0.045, hit enter, go to turret 2, and we want to make sure we input turret 2 instead of 1. Turret 2 is for plate marker. Click add. Once that's done, click close. Now let's go ahead and draw a rectangle. So we're going to choose the rectangle tool, click, drag, let go. We're going to input 6 for the width, 3 for the height, hit enter, click out. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our font. So we hit the fly out, choose the first one. We're going to click, drag a box, let go. Now we're going to go ahead and hit the F tab up at the upper left hand corner. Once we hit that, it's going to populate the screen. We're going to choose our fonts, but let's double click in this window and we're going to type in plate marking. Click OK. Now, as we select a font, then in that white window, we're going to see that our font changes to whatever font we choose. So I'll click and I'll hit the down arrow and you can see I'm going through each one of these fonts. When I find one I like, I'm going to go ahead and hit select and I'll start typing. Once that's done, I click out. Now I'm going to immediately go to Arrange, Text to Graphics, then Arrange, Make Path. Now I'm going to select my whole design and press C, E, Center Everything. With that done, I'm going to go ahead and select my plate marking only, and we're going to toolpath it. So go to Machine, Create Toolpath. We're going to choose Online. Here's where we're going to choose our plate marker. So under the Tool Library, there's our new tool. Here we're going to enter our feed rate. 25 inch a minute. Make sure there's no lead in lead outs and click OK. Now collect your, select your rectangle, choose machine, create toolpath mail. Here's where we're going to choose our toolpath for our mail. Enter your feed rate of let's say 100. On lead in lead out, let's go ahead and make sure it's aligned, 0 degrees, and at least whatever thickness material I like to do the lead in. So 0.25. Click OK. After that's done, let's go to view, show toolpaths only. There's our tool pass. We select it. We're going to go to layout, sequence, sequence by list. We're going to hit tool pass only and make sure our font is the first one because we want plate marker cutting out first, then our outside cut. We select the shape, bring it to the bottom left hand corner of our material. We're going to go to machine output. Here we're going to click zoom in a little bit and we're going to hit the remote with a hand. This is going to generate G code. As you can see right here, T2, that is our plate marker. So we know plate marker is going to be the first tool used. And I can hit the play button. And when I hit the play button, it's going to cycle through the whole G code and you can see how it's going to work. I can go back to the beginning. I can hit it one more time. And again, you'll see how it works. After that, I'm going to hit the cut, the scissors. Just make sure it's T2 for plate marker. Click the scissors and here's where we're going to name our file. So we're going to type it what we want it to be. And this is the G code that we're going to input, import into our CAM software, driver software. Once that's done, X out of there, and we're done.